We are going live. We are live. Welcome. Manga Need Show. Sonic Garden Radio. That's Mang. I'm Needs. Welcome. Welcome to another episode of Sonic Gardens Radio, Mang and Neat Show. Mang and Neat. This is uh, day 18 of the Central New York One eight. self-quarantine in hopes of uh, reducing the um, spread. Uh, spread of the coronavirus. Keep it closed. Whoa. A little negativity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hey, everybody, you're listening to Mang and Neat Show. This is a past recording of Uncle Uku and the guys doing their song, No Heaven. Sounds like they were mad at someone. And uh, yeah, we had a uh, a plan scheduled uh, towards the end of this month. We we're going to be having a uh, a big, awesome party here with Uncle Luku and the guys, and uh, um, Rager and uh, Jay Floyd. You know, uh, Nate Cole was going to be doing a little set. Ooh. Jesse Tressler and Chris. So we had uh, big plans for for that. And um, you weren't the only. It looks one. like um, that's on a bit of a uh, hold as well for now. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, man. Uncle Luku and the guys, give them a like. Give them a like. And a share. Mega Neat Show. Sonic Gardens Radio. So here we are, like I said, day number 18. Beautiful. Th- is today Thursday, right? Yeah, yeah, beautiful Thursday. April 2nd, 2020. 2020. <laughs> uh, Fucking A. We have been, we're on a little campaign here, here since, we uh, since we are on quarantine. And it really forces us to... Uh, hunker down yeah like literally and when you hunker down you kind of get some things done and in this case uh we've got it done to where you know we've talked about it for a long time we always wanted to maintain some kind of uh uh presence and show whether it was weekly and here we are we've been running this thing every day now uh and this is day 18 so we uh you know i'm a uh I haven't had any uh, missed days. Josh is down one day. One day I missed. But, um, you know, <laughs> hopefully, uh, you know, we recover. We recover. So. One day. Yeah. Well, you know, one day yep. matters. It does. And I didn't switch the video over. Thank you. Okay, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen. Officially. All right. Video officially on our, on our gig over a million cases officially. Yeah. Oh, we really it is. Yeah. yeah that's crazy because it wasn't even um like this morning. You know, that's just right. We were still. I thought it was still like five hundred thousand cases away. No. Unless I can't read properly. Oh man. One million four thousand seven hundred ninety-one. Fifty-one thousand deaths. Five hundred and seventy-seven. Something like that. Here, uh, let me uh, let me pull say. up some. Yeah, pull it up. Let me pull it up. What are you looking at? World of meter. Sure. All right. Oh man, mice. Mice and mice men. all over my desk. What? There's mice all over my desk. 
Really? Well, or mouses? Do you say mouses if it's not? Well, I mean they're if there. It's like because it's a different thing than an actual mouse. You see them? Oh, those mouse. The <laughs> so like, do you still say mice when you're talking about multiple? mouses? Not if you're talking about like computer mouses. Yeah, so you would say mouses. Mouses. That's a good one. Oh no, I'm not. Gonna f- need an do I look like I'm a Is fucking anybody- English? <laughs> I am. Fa- I'm the furthest. It's really thing. like uh, I'm the I'm- furthest thing away from an English teacher. That- that's a good one though. That's one you can throw back at him because right. I don't think um. I'm not now, sure if that's been defined. Now JB is I think he's I think he was one class credit away from being a English teacher. Really? Yeah. Well, well, not really, but let me tell you um that if, uh we if, have a call in number. Yeah. And anybody that does know the correct way to describe more a computer than, mouse when you're talking about four multiple. Of them. Yeah. So I have I have three mice on my desk. Or mouses. Or are they mouses? <laughs> that is, that's what the Manganese show is all about. It's about bringing out the questions yeah. that uh, need to be asked. Yeah, when and, you're home uh, and haven't showered in five days and haven't shaved your legs and you're bored and you're listening to us, here yeah. we are. Manganese show. I'm still listening to uh, Uncle. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. Troy's like screaming in my ear like someone <laughs> slammed his toe on a draw. But other than that, haha, <laughs> that's what happens. Yeah, you got a beautiful voice. Okay, uh, I'm in the wrong spot here. Oh boy, imagine that world. So, um, I'd also wow. like to, uh, you know, like when you look up this world meter, I mean, they're they're like, uh, they're uh, getting some extra clicks these days because oh, yeah. typically they're uh, just keeping track of like people and things i mean right. they, they probably do this disease thing but right like if you go to their home page they're just uh you know tick tocking away at the the uh, uh population of the world and all that stuff so did you know the diamond princess has more cases than say like lithuania hungary lebanon Well, that's a, you know what, there's a good... 712, Angelo. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's another, that's one of those factors that um, it seems like um, any of these can find, like we were talking just a couple days ago about the flights. Right. There's 2,600 flights. If somebody's on one of those flights, I mean, really, how clean are they getting things? Like, are they catching everything? Because we're learning that... You can't, you don't even think of everything. How can you catch everything? So then it's like, are you wiping off, are, are they dropping the tray and wiping the tray off and then wiping the screen off or the back of the chair and then the head pillows, you know, are they getting steamed? It's like those factors of, um, oh, steamy, you know, I don't know. Man. Oh, and another, another thing that had, uh, that had raised some awareness was, uh, the concern over the aerosols. Because they don't know for sure, but they're assuming that although it's not as that was one of the things that uh, uh, Fauci was talking about on like um, I think it was like the Daily Show or something where, um, but either way, one of those where he was interviewing maybe the doctor one that I saw on uh, YouTube. Did you hear he's got he's been having like threats? Really? Yeah, they want to get crazy. rid of him. That is so crazy. They've had enough of him. They've had enough of his truth telling. Yeah. Not like, yeah, he's really Well, they got... have, uh, and then they, you know, yeah, they've, they've limited his, um, his speech. They, like, like they just warn him, you know, that not to talk to certain people. And stuff. Right. Watch what he says. Um, Be cognizant. So, you know, interesting. So worldwide cases, we do have some better numbers than just dealing with, China's numbers, which you know, as I've said for a while, I'm I'm just not, I don't feel the greatest about those numbers and what they've reported being right. the facts. But here we are now, uh, a little while later, and we do have, um, you know, two hundred ten thousand recoveries, which is uh, and uh, and of the closed cases, eighty percent of them are uh, recovered. 
So it's a 20%. Uh, you know, none of those, like I said, the numbers, nobody knows. Anybody tells you they do, there is absolutely no way that they can know because this is not over with yet. And, uh, and for them, for anyone to dismiss the fact that people could die because of uh, lack of uh, resources and hospital care um, in the, you know, being told to die at home, things like that. That is, uh, that's like kind of where we're at. So, right. Um, yeah. So that's, that's kind of, uh, yeah, that's where, that's what we're talking about. Social distancing. Social. Social distancing. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> Well, <laughs> we're all getting the little coffee coughs. <coughs> clear my throat. Clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. Yeah, we're we're okay. I'm feeling good. Feeling um, good, he says. So still, far, so good. I'm on. I'm basically on a lockdown. I, mean, I don't. I am. You well, know, other than here, right? I and mean, that's what we talk about. We come here. It's about it, man. Um, two hundred. And 37,877 total cases in the United States of America. So far, yeah, we're just over a hundred and something thousand over Italy. Nothing to see here. So I was telling, I was saying uh, that, you know, I just showed you that thing that I had found. Um, all right, let's go with, we'll start, you know what, we should do some positive. All we'll right. go with something positive. Um, all right. Positive news is what that it? another, and it, and it turns out, you know, uh, they just had a, uh, a U.S. U.S. Um, organization oh, yeah. has found. Um, the Titanic. No, they just, oh. uh, uh. Potential coronavirus vaccine generates enough antibodies to fight off the virus. Still has a long ways to go, but U.S. did, um, along with many others that are working on the next steps to uh, get them uh, federal FDA approved and be huh. able to. Uh, they did skip. I did notice that uh, of what it said, it, ha it was the first peer reviewed, although it's not the first one that have come up. It's the first peer reviewed, which is... Um, the second step, you know, I don't know, second step, whatever. The step in science that kind of makes something fact is uh, something, you know, uh, <clears throat> there needs to be a, a, somebody that outside that double checks everybody's work. And when, you, right. and when you do the thing, you perform the experiment the exact same way using the exact same circumstances and variables, um, and you come up with the same result, then it becomes... Um, you know, not just a, uh, uh, you know, chance circumstance or uh, skewed results, right. which is kind of the world, um, uh, part of this world that we live in. Of this, these, the pharmacy and the and the uh, medicine is that they don't, um, it, nobody gets like, nobody makes any money for being the second person to discover a drug works or really? yeah. So there's no money in dub in the double checking of people's results. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the money is in being the first one to find like right. the Viagra. It's not going to be, it's in not the, CLS. It's not going to be in the one that the guy that, that came studied up. that re that studied it again. You know what I mean? Like that, right. that all becomes the, uh, there's no money in that part of it. But what if, so, so the you're not talking about people, if someone makes a drug like it, like Cialis or something? No, no. I'm talking, talking more about, about like people to, to, to prove that something all is right. like, yep. you like in order to prove, and it's on anything. It's right. like FDA approved. Yeah. But it, or in any like fact driven oh. thing, like if, um, you know, something becomes fact when it's. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, again, we're talking Sometimes about another thing. Fake fact it's a second check, though, item, right? Sometimes anybody... they're fake fact check, though, right? Sometimes you can get someone to say, 
that this is a good thing and this is a good product and stuff. It's been and and then get it approved. Like they get those. That's right. where your thing about paying people like right that's where all that paying people and having them the yes men and stuff with the money whatever on your so then side. there's these huge industries like um like there's huge industries like vitamins that's right. one of those that flies under the radar because they don't need to be tested by the fda so and, so and there's no money in independently like testing their stuff and when they do independently test this stuff they're finding that um you know, sometimes it doesn't even have the what it says. Like it'll be like calcium with no calcium in it. Right. So I literally. see. I seen some of these these drug people. They do that, like where they bring it to these doctors and they get all these doctors to say yes, yes, we use this and use this, and then they sell their product that way. That pretty sure, like, that's how they. Um, uh, pretty positive. I I saw this whole thing on it about. I I think it was about like when Vi Viagra first came out or something similar to that. Um, they would get all these people to say they would use it, and then it catches more people's eyes, and then, you know what I mean, ne next thing you know, it's this big thing, and they're selling tons and tons of product because you got, you were good enough friends with some of these doctors, and you got them to say that they used it even if they didn't. Um, right, and that's that's one of the big things that uh, that that's been exploited in the right. face of doctors and stuff so much that they've had to truly um, – you know evaluate their ethics and, what, and right. what it's really about it's like it it goes back to the same you know in my own experience in the telecom world oh, there was a point when verizon cut off like like the major companies had to stop accepting dinners and you know yankees tickets and these things were considered going too far right and that's what um you know that's that's what we're talking about here huh yeah. Yeah. So if you're bored, here you are. And you want to call in because you've been hanging out with the same person or yeah. persons. And as they're in, just not as. It's in our case here. Clever as Angelo you know. and I. Call us up. Tell us what's going on. Fuck with us. Tell us something. we're full of shit. Yeah, fuck with us. Hey, I we want to give a uh, uh, there ain't none better than a special special congratulations out there All to right. our our buddy Ben. Yeah, little Benny. Little Benny, Miner. Buckshot's brother. Um, Had himself a child. That's right. This morning, seven o four a.m. Nine pounds two ounces. Look at this guy with the full details. What that's is why it? we call him the main anchor, Wesley. Oh shit, I forgot the middle name. Um. Wesley Minor we'll go with right now. I did forget the middle name. Campbell, right? Something like let, let let's have a look up. But that's uh Wesley Minor. This is uh little Ben Miner's child. Such a nice guy. I know him real well. Um Oh man, I don't know when that thing clicked out. I'm I'm having a little bit of What do you got technical... going on in there? No, I just like uh it's just my camera image. I flip the of cameras. You? Well, then it just becomes like the wide. Oh, I never even reset that. So it Unbelievable. Just looks like an empty so room. it's uh it's Wesley Rexford minor. Cool, man. Yeah, named him after the street, evidently the middle name. Um no, I don't know where that came from. But anyways, congratulations, Benny. This is a 21-inch long baby. Wow. Awesome, so, right? Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, oh, I did have the time right too. Seven oh four a.m. Yeah, nailed yeah, it, fucking man. a. Look at this guy. Did my research this morning. So uh, caught the, me on a good day. And the other, uh, the other story of the day. So, uh, like we said, with the potential vaccine, they got to, uh, um, you know, go through the next steps. And another note on this was that they did skip the animal testing portion of it, and they went right to human. Or no, maybe they skipped. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, oh well, maybe we I better get a hold of the animal expert. See if he knows. Yeah, anybody wants to give us a call and let us know um, what happened. You to know what the truth is on this story. You can you can do that. You can call in uh, 607-373 heat heat four three two eight h e a t. Bring it. Uh, yeah. Call us up. Let's have a look. See. Um, and the other, uh, so the other article that I read that I thought was also interesting was that, uh, 
Russia and Vladimir Putin had uh, sent plane full of medical gear to help the U.S. fight the coronavirus. What a nice jester. And uh, I imagine he wouldn't be sending unless he had a pretty good grip on uh, supplies himself. Now, this guy, Putin. Putin? He is like... He's a, he's a pretty uh, wild wild guy. Wild he's a car. bad motherfucker. Yeah, he is. So, uh, so he did that, and then Massachusetts was having trouble. So they had, like, I think it was 3 million masks they were going to get, and they got over to our shores to, like, one of the ports, maybe New York City port, and, like, the governor, or not the governor, sorry, the government took them said that they were taking them and Massachusetts couldn't have them. They needed them for their stockpile or some shit. Right. So then uh I'm pretty yeah, the governor of Massachusetts got a hold of the great uh Robert Kraft who owns the uh New England Patriots to borrow his plane and have his plane sent over there to China and they were able to get the uh get it waved so the pilots didn't have to be quarantined long as they didn't leave the plane. And they picked up, uh, I think it was like 2.5 million masks and 95 masks. So, uh, and then, and then they were flown back to Massachusetts. So people are making shit happen. Um, private. Yeah. Because other people won't make shit happen. And that's kind of a problem. It seems like that. Yeah, they're if they're, you would, uh, if you fuck this up as bad as it really has been fucked. Like I don't. It don't matter. Um, if you're on, if it don't matter what side you fucking think you're on about like politics and shit. If you this was botched. Like it don't matter where you're looking at it. If you're anybody with any kind of sense of what the fuck is going on and stuff. Like this was fucked up. It don't matter if you like the guy, like who fucked it up or not. It doesn't matter. That's not like, you know what I mean? Sometimes people fuck shit up. Yes. And this was fucked up. And you like, got to own it. And you, yeah, it don't it don't matter. Like, there's plenty of people that I thought were cool, whatever, that fuck shit up. And like, yeah, they fucked it up. But they, they were able to turn themselves or turn things around or make things better. Like, shit happens. Yeah, I get it. But you can't just be like in total denial when you absolutely screw something up like this that where it starts causing lives and shit like you can say oh um over two million lives aren't gonna aren't isn't gonna happen because what what's going on now but still man even if there's even even what has happened the people have died that's fucked up like like it's fucked up it's people's lives if you think about it um so i'm with you yeah, it's I, uh, just like I don't I mean, give a fuck about the whole side shit either. Like I don't like I you well, know what I mean? I'll fuck with both of them. I'll pick with pick on both of them. Like I don't like it doesn't matter. Like it's not that's not what it's about. Right. Well, here was it, this was one that to me was interesting and that was that in uh you know what I brought up to you earlier and that was it, okay. Let me just lay <laughs> let me lay this out, okay? Okay, Fuck, you got me going. So, a question's asked. Um, the question was asked about was there anything uh, that could be done early on to prevent the circumstance we're in right now? And the president's, and then they said, like looking to countries like South Korea and how they were able to, like you said, are they still under 10,000? They. I think so. Yeah. So, well, either way, they are. Um, they are. So he says. He says, "Look, nobody knows more." You know, he starts going on about rural areas, and they and they're talking per capita and all that. And he says, "Look, nobody knows more about South Korea than me." He goes, "There's 38 million people in Seoul, Korea, right?" So that's just like a fact. He states out there. And then when you actually look that up, there's not 38 million people in Seoul, Korea. There's 9 million people in Seoul. And uh, so then you're like, okay, well, maybe the president meant like metro area Seoul. And there's, when you look that up, there's 25 million people in the metro area. 
then you say, okay, well, maybe the president meant the whole country of South Korea has 38 million people. And it turns out that the whole country has about 54 million people. And then if you go to Wikipedia and you just type in Seoul, South Korea, you'll get a quick little layout like they do with all countries and everything. And uh, in the corner, it says 38M. And what that is, is the elevation of the city. So is it a coincidence or is it that our president didn't even do the research to make a claim that he knows everything and then to claim something that he just like went to Wikipedia and looked something up and then thought that he saw 38 million and said he knew something. Oh, and then he fucking lit that fucking reporter right up. So then my, so my whole point with it is, is that we're literally dealing with someone that, that claims he knows everything, but then does poor research and gets a t terrible grade and still says like he just can't ever see he was trying to he was going with Seoul because i think Seoul like has more uh their population has more people in it than any american city but he got his numbers fucking wrong like that's i'm pretty positive that's why he was going for it like Seoul um but yeah he was off by fucking 30 million just about people Did I lose you? No, I'm oh. with you. That's oh. what I'm saying. Yeah, he was, he was wrong. Oh yeah, yeah, he was wrong. But but my point being is is he went for Seoul because they they have they're a populated city. They're they're I'm pretty positive they're more populated than New York City. That's no, what, but that was just the point. Is but that that's there's why only he, ten million people in Seoul. Right. It might be more concentrated. It might be a even smaller area. But I right. doubt it because Manhattan and New York City is pretty small. Area. Right. But my point, my point being, is he went for Seoul. Like he went. That's the city he. He didn't just. It didn't just get picked out of thin air. You know what I mean? Like he had. He had a point by going for Seoul. He just had his population like and and his whole reasoning all everything was wrong. Besides yeah. why he went for it. We might be able to get a call here from uh, who? Jesse Tressler. Oh, boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> call us up. Been waiting. You're listening to Mang and Needs show. Yeah, uh, Ben Wayne also, because he, he uh, sent out a little notification. Or uh, uh, he shared something that was from a few years ago. We talked about that. So uh, I pitched to him. He should tune into the show. We're trying to gain some subscribers. Oh, the great Ben so, Wayne. Uh, um, yeah. You know? And yeah. I said, uh, you know, tune in, man. We're playing tune tunes. In. Don't Call you, in. Yeah. Say, you know, let us know. Set up a, a let FaceTime. Let us know. What's up? We'll put you right here in the corner. You can play yeah, us. you know. A I mean, live tune right here. You can play us. Fucking... If they got FaceTime, man, we're, that would be cool. We're cool to do anything. If you want to yeah, play a live uh, tune, Skype over, in. Yeah, we'll Skype you, Zoom in. We're uh, we've got options, man. Yeah, we have uh, technology and yes. options for sure. As you can see, I've got a little technology right here in front of me. Yeah, and just got fucking three times as much technology in there. So we're teched up. We're teched up. Yeah. We come from the uh, age of the, uh, what was the dial, what was the ring dial, the one that went around when you spin the the telephone? What was it rotary? called? Yeah, rotary? Rotary. Rotary. Rotary dial. Right. Legit. 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 And then if you fucked up, you had to start all over again. Like my, we, my grandma had one right till the end. My grandma had one, it was like hardwired in, so you couldn't just plug another thing in unless you cut the thing. It was like back when she got the phone put in, they didn't have the little box, you know what I mean, where you could just plug any phone into it. Went hardwired it right to the phone. And it was a rotary one up in her bedroom. So anytime I used that fucking thing, because I, I was upstairs, so if I used the rotary, it would be a rotary. Like if you forgot or fucked up a number, you'd have to start all over again. Right. Yeah. Fucking grandma. She was the greatest. Yeah, we're going to get a call, I think, soon here. 
<laughs> what are you, Cleopatra? I'm gonna have to do it the uh, uh, old school way, maybe. Why? You could well, just call him up. Oh yeah, that's right. Just call him right back. People like to get a phone call. I'll tell him, especially if we hang up on him. We got to get the animal expert on the phone. Actually, we should probably call him up. Let's call JT first because he's ready. Oh boy! All right, call him up. Let's you see call he... him up and hook your thing up. I don't have his number. Oh yeah. Do I? Yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. You no, no, no. I do have his number. All right, I'll call him. Plug him. You gotta plug. You gotta plug him in though, too, on the thing. Yeah, I gotta go in there. All right. So that's all right because we got your uh, your dummy guy standing behind you that fills right, the, fills right. it in. So he's ready. You got confirmation. Old Chessy Dressler is ready or what? Or is he just getting a surprise? No, he's ready. I'm I'm kind of communicating with him right now. That's why I keep uh, fading out. Oh. Like, where'd you go? Um, oh, I got Troy's gonna call in too. He might, he's gonna he's gonna tell you fucking. I'm gonna yell in. He's gonna yell in your ear now in real life. Huh? He really was in my fucking ear. Um, man, I wish we could get this uh this thing fixed up here. Just have him call your your or. Oh, we got a call now. All right, just plug him in. Let's see this guy. This is a... <clears throat> plug him in. You're live on the Manganese Show. Hi, I was calling about a special order. Special order? Hi. You can... After the show. After the show. Yeah. yeah. Really. Be right about I'm supper. live, buddy. Supper time. You listen to the Manganese Show. Live on Sonic Garden Radio. And, uh. Yeah, we got another one. We do. What we got? I guess the, uh. What we got today? Like I said, Troy. We're going to get Troy. Troy might call in. Yeah, Troy. On the number here. We got number, Troy. Call it. It's flashing across the screen as we speak. So uh, New York's got 92,381 total cases. It's got 82,574 active cases. So so there's that always. Where are you? What, uh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll pull up some info. Uh, same thing. I You're just was the, uh, I just was doing the total cases and uh, active cases, and we in New York. Since yesterday's had 8,480 uh, new cases. Yesterday they topped out at 7,918 cases. So. And uh, today we're already at 22. You see all these numbers keep increasing. That's all USA though, right? I, all right. Yeah, that's all USA. I was, I was breaking down uh, New York, but that's quite all right. Right. The whole world. Yeah. 70,000 new cases. Right. Uh, today? I don't know. I'm. I'm. Wait a minute. Uh, be safe. Better be this safe. This is today because yeah. then you because yeah, yeah. today is uh gonna be over at like eight o'clock tonight. Right. Right. For sure. Yeah. Seventy thousand new cases today, and we are over a million. Yeah, like I yeah, said, because five thousand eight oh six over. And uh, Germany passed uh, China. They did it. Um, that happened today. And it looks like uh, France is still on their way. Like I said, I really yeah. don't. I don't see it slowing down, Josh. I don't see this thing slowing down yet. I don't see any indication that it's gonna without uh, full, you know, like lockdown or whatever, right? Like, to make it like sputter out, I guess. I saw that. Uh, I think it's three towns in New Jersey. I don't know what day it was, but they did mandatory fucking seven day lockdown can't leave your fucking house i think they did it maybe a day or two ago in new jersey three towns i do not know what three towns i just don't know like, i would have had to pay attention <coughs> seven way days too or like three days i don't know i just it's like seems well seven days is i mean yeah they're they're thinking on that as you would at least know by then if you got it and then you stay home for the. You know what oh I mean? yeah, because that's you got what your... I think their theory was on that. But you never know. Theory, theory. Theory, theory. All right, call Jesse. Um, 
All right. Or actually, wait, let me try it. All right, you try a little Trussler. The great and knowledgeable one. This could work the same way it did on Well, yeah, just plug that fucker in. I can hear it ringing. Can you? Fucking loud as fuck. <laughs> Yo, Sonic Gardens. All right. You're live. What's happening, Troy? We just figured we'd make it easy for you and just call you up. Yeah. Right on. I'm actually uh, being an essential employee right now. I bet. And uh, shipping some stuff. But I just wanted to... Uh, Fucking wow. The first time I talked to you guys. Hi. I, I wanted to say something about the whole Chinese vibe thing. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't care where it's from. We know what's happening, right? So yeah, we... What worries me about putting that label on it is the supporters of the guy in the White House right now. Your president and my president. Attacking. He's cutting out. There's been reports all over the country of Chinese citizens being attacked. Well, that's not right. <clears throat> and I just wanted to get uh, get you guys' view on this. Yeah, that's uh, that's bullshit. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, oh, cool. good. Yeah, we you got sound, this thing wired in on a new uh, uh, hookup here. You sound pretty good, Troy. And uh, pretty um, good, yeah, so we we wanted to make it so we could all talk and at the same time. So we got it to work. Look at that, Josh. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you very I much. I can hear you. I can't hear Josh, but oh, you can't. Oh man. Uh, well, anyway. I was what I was coming at is uh, you know the supporters of the man in the White House uh, don't really think and when he says things like this it's it's a danger to any Chinese American I I think uh, I kind of think that was like and I guess you might there might be new things going on but I, I felt like that was uh I guess the damage is done as soon as he does it because I was thinking that they moved on and like people weren't really saying that it was like it didn't stick. It was like a shitty nickname that didn't stick and nobody's using it. They realized it was just it was vulgar and and you know, so I think that they um I thought that like we've stepped away from that, but then again, like you're saying well, the impressions there and all of a sudden it's still still happening and that is uh See, I don't understand. Right. I've seen a couple uh, couple attacks today, just, uh, you know, obviously I don't have the news articles in front of me, but um, but attacks on Chinese Americans because, you know, that this guy in the office is, you know, has these crazy followers that will do anything he says. I know. Like, vote for him. But, uh, <laughs> so, no, I, I mean, I'm totally with you, totally with you on that, Troy. Um I actually was just watching a uh, a video where they were breaking down, you know, uh, the cause. And, you know, it was laid out like the guy kept saying, you know, I'm not into conspiracy theories and this and that. And then uh, so I actually went to his page, like the YouTube channel to like see what this guy was about. And I realized that for the last year or more and all his channel, he's got like 500,000 uh, subscribers and you know he gets a half a million views on his videos and every single video is about how chinese government sucks and how the chinese people are racist and all these things and he and he puts right on his page i lived in china for 10 years and my views on their you know culture changed at this point and whatever and it's like it it's um so to me it's like uh nothing new but again like uh the way that uh, the he, uh, you know, the man in the White House empowers people with these uh, disgusting views, I guess is how I would put that. Well, and you won't hear me say this much either, but uh, Trump is a genius when it comes to controlling the news cycle. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you noticed, uh, right when he was getting a bunch of flack for his poor handling of the situation, all of a sudden he came out with Chinese virus and... The news uh, cycle instantly shifted from his poor handling to his, uh, you know, poor rhetoric, <laughs> quote, 
quote unquote racism. Right. So I mean, which is like uh, not quite provable, you know. Yeah, but then the next thing he does. The only thing that I'll say he's a genius at is controlling the news cycle, and he knows that what people are going to catch on to. Sure. And then I think most of that was, you know, he did it on purpose. Yeah. Oh, I see why you can't. Why you don't have Josh in here? But yeah, I no, I totally agree with that. Um, that that's like how it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. All right. And then the next thing he goes and he fucking and, uh, yeah. As, as soon as he starts getting flagged, you'll and he doesn't care if people think think he's racist. Right. But the the news media and you know people are spreading the fact that he's doing a piss poor job. He would rather be marked as a racist than taking a hit at his ego saying that he's not doing a good job. Right. Those were my points. Yeah, man. Well, thanks for the call. You got If you got your essential work to be doing, you better get back to it. Get back. Get back. Or you're not going to have a job to come back to, sir. <laughs> Stay safe, my brothers. All right. Get it. Hey, uh, keep listening to us. We were, uh, we were just talking about some of that stuff and, uh, we we gave you the intro song. If you didn't hear it, oh yeah, oh, we yeah. did. I I just I just got on. I just got a flash from uh, Sonic Garden. So oh cool, got, yeah. I, so I gave you. You right. came on live, but uh, I gave you the uh, I gave you the intro tune. Right on. Right no on. heaven, brother. All right, I'll catch you later. Peace. Bye. So All right. Uh, so you didn't have me, or yeah. Anyways, I uh, thought I added you to that call. Did you get a ring? I just did. Yeah. Okay. But it what, took it, a minute. Why you didn't? You weren't able it to was plug a, it in. No, I did plug it in, and then I, and then I just assumed that. Uh, I see. I'm looking at this, and I don't see what the problem was. You know, like everything's in. Oh, well, because the other day we didn't have to do it. As long as you're plugged in, we both. He should be able to both hear, hear us Except both. Except for again, it was my phone, and my phone's old and oh. like kind of beat and. And I did drop it in the toilet a couple of weeks ago. Ooh! So what we were talking about on that chi- on the uh, uh, from China there also oh, though shit. he'll he'll say some things, but in the next thing he I'll always uh, he he's quick he'll say that Chinese virus and stuff like that which is fucked up, but then in the next breath he he he'll talk about how um. China's leader is so good, nice, and great. Like, and then he'll, he'll talk them up. So he's like, he plays both sides of the field. He well, plays that, that's his why people, it's, it's, and that's... then he kisses their at. Like he's, he talks a big talk. Like he's like, like he'll say, "Oh, the China virus this," and in the next sentence, he's saying how great their uh, leader is and how he does this and how they're on good terms. So you know what I mean? He's like. He 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 plays both sides of the field, but you yeah. know what I mean. Like, yeah, clearly. Yeah, that's so. his game. That's yeah. why you can't believe anything he says. He's a liar. Oh, well, it's true, man. All right. But uh, there you hey, what it. can you say? What can you say, man? He's what can a liar. you do when the world is invaded by a Donald Trump? <laughs> what can you do? Fucking a. So are we gonna call a uh, little Jess. So new. Yep. Uh, here we go. Is he ready? I'll call him. Yeah, you call him. I'm going to. Wait. You, what? I'm going to walk gonna... it in there. <laughs> walk it all. <laughs> oh, that? see, that's what happens when it's not, when it's just dangling around on top of electronics. Buzz. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, listening to Sonic Gardens Radio. This is the Mang and Neat Show, and uh, we are trying to get 1,000 subscribers. So if anybody can do anything to... Uh, Help us out. Hit that subscribe button. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a long, long uh, distance marathon campaign for us. But we're just looking to um, get a 1,000 subscribers. So uh, help us out. We're going to give uh, – we're going to call out now because, you know, uh, see, we got this call-in number here, 607-373-HEAT. Uh, lines are open currently if you'd like to – uh, call in and uh, share what's going on in your life, what you're doing, how quarantine is, whether or not you're working. And here we go. Calling in. Jesse didn't answer either. I do have some, uh, see, there's some feedback here.
Hi, it's voicemail of Ryan. <laughs> of the animal lover. Animal lover, not the expert. He'd rather be an animal lover anyway. All right, we're going to give you some more tunes here. Let's see. Well, you listen to the Mang and Needs show. That's Mang. I'm Needs. Sonic Garden Radio. Live. Heads up. What do you got in there, Angelo? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm uh, I'm playing music, but this oh. time you don't get to hear it. <laughs> In time, we have a call coming in. Oh, from uh, let's see, wireless caller, and here we are. Oh boy, you are live on the Manganese show. Hey, hello. Hey, you know what? Who's this? Is this the great Pat? It is. Fuck yeah, it is. Hey, what's uh, happening? I still hear Troy. Because I, uh, I was trying to get him to mention the phone number, right? Because the first time they did it, I didn't get it right. Then I went ahead and went a half hour before he gave it again. <laughs> it's usually uh, streaming. It's rolling, right? It's usually rolling right on the screen where you see me, uh, you know, talking here. But um, yeah, man, heat. It's uh four three two eight. But we uh yeah six zero seven three seven three four three two eight. But I see you finally got it. You made it in. Yeah. Troy's yeah, still singing. In, I got to say. Yeah. Well, what um? So what's happening? It's a great show. You guys are doing a good job. And uh, and, uh I'm me and my are watching it. All right. Well, hi, so Carol and Pep. Okay, we, we got to watch our language. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, you know. All right. That's how it goes. We're expressive. We're an expressive generation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's good. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm good to hear you're doing all right, and you guys are hanging in there. Yeah, we're hanging. All right. Bye. All right, love yous. <laughs> All right, guys, you're listening to Sonic Gardens Radio. Just got a call in from my parents, man. That was cool. A little support. Here's Warner. Ooh, he's in Bang here. Bang a show. All right. Ryan, how you doing, buddy? What's up, man? Can What's up, me? Mang? Can you hear me pretty good? Yeah. Can you hear all me? Right. Yep. Good. Can you hear me? You guys getting the uh, ironing out all the kinks? Yeah. Can you hear me? Well, you know, we got a better connection. Oh, it's that again. Hold on. Maybe I can fix that, Josh. Can you hear me, Warner? He can't. Nope. You can't hear Warner. As soon as you hear Josh's voice, you let us know. Yo. Um, can you hear I don't, you? I don't hear Josh anymore. Oh, man. Well, I heard. Was that him saying, oh, man? Yeah. yeah. All right. I heard that. You did? This is me. I heard that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. What's up? What's up, needs? What's up? Fucking A. Oh, we're just down here talking about all kinds of shit. And just, yeah, and he, what's the, uh, I'm sure it's like a recap, but what's the new update, man? What do you got? Uh, what kind of new update? Happening? Like for New York? 
Well, other than the fact that Trump never compared the coronavirus to the flu, what else is new? Well, well, yesterday I did a little, I got a quick thing there. Fucking coronavirus is like third in deaths in deaths so far this year, I think, or something like that. I, I brought, what what was I saying at the end of the show? Now I lost my other resource. Um, At the end of the show yesterday, Ange, I was talking about like it was third to. Yeah, uh, number three in, uh, in uh, like uh, the highest, you know, I mean, car accidents, uh and Can't heart really. attack, you know, those heart things disease. like heart, heart disease. disease. It was third to them. You know, and the crazy part now, any physical, any kind of physical death doesn't doesn't matter. But all the deaths caused by obesity and heart disease. Right. That is like fucking one foot in the grave for the coronavirus and the other foot on a fucking banana peel. Right. It, you know what I mean? So it's like those deaths, even though they don't they're not directly correlated, they will be. Yes, because your your chances of survival are greatly reduced if and, you have you know if you're yeah. well I guess morbidly obese I don't know how obesity plays into it and but. then I and those are the people I see out fucking <laughs> in groups of people talking and chatting and I oh, yeah I, that's just that's just Shenango County well those are those are just the people you're gonna see right right <laughs> yeah yep. Yeah, so but I'm gonna... glad, like, I watch all these, you know, from home, like Seth Meyers, and, I mean, they're heavily liberal or Democrat anyway, but, like, uh, Trevor Noah, The Daily Show. Oh, you watch John. all that garbage? All that hot garbage? Yeah. I watch those. Those are, you guys watch those are, all those uh, stuff. Those are my go-tos uh, a lot of times, too, you know? All right. Yeah, they stick to the facts when it comes to the news. They really do. So and don't then, you know, then they, they make, make lighthearted jokes. Yeah, they're comedy about it. Right. But they don't lie. Right. You know what I mean? And it's isn't it funny that there isn't a single comedy show that picks on the liberals and the Democrats? Because they're you know what I mean? because like, they're inherently not funny. They're not funny. Like, <laughs> yeah. they're they not don't have a, a sense of humor. They literally it's like it's you go all the way back to like, uh, you know, the, the, the Reaganites and everything. It's the whole the whole point of this oh. conservativeness is fucking stick up your ass. You don't have any comedy. You don't have any sense of humor. You don't have any love of like art or any, uh, you know, any of the finer things. There's plenty life. of material, too. You know right. what I mean? There's yeah. plenty of material. Oh, yeah. You know, like you could have a field. I mean, we could Saturday Night Live them. does a good job with getting getting in good like picking on hillary and right. uh you yeah. know and obama and elizabeth warren you know, and elizabeth, they always oh try God. you know yeah. the light heart i mean shit even the fact that trump was on there and really took uh you know they put him in some uncomfortable scenes your man, boy used sure. to do a good janet reno right back in the day fucking uh Will Ferrell. Yeah, Janet Reno, right? That's your man. Wow, oh, that's a Jesus weird talking. Christ. Don't <laughs> I forgot about you that. You start bashing Will Ferrell again. Uh, yeah, Jesus remember Waco? Uh, fuck it, eh? Janet Reno, Jesus. Yeah. He's, he, uh, just a little note here. All right. He did more Ooh. to make people laugh in, in a world where that is probably the best comfort that you can get. Oh, Will Ferrell? Yeah, from things like old school and yeah, not saying everything he does is great or that he was great at this or that, but the just the the fact is is that Yeah, uh, but there's a lot fun. There's if, a lot if more you're gonna people pick out on there somebody. That are yeah, you could That's pick all on I'm some saying. other uh No, yep. Yeah, but there's to, a you are equal opportunity picker on her. I get it. I am. I pick am. I her. I pick her on her everybody, but he is. I just he is. I do. I fuck. Her. I pick on myself too. Like a fuck. Because you have no agenda. You're not trying to get across the agenda. You're just your whole. Uh, you know, your stake in life is is passive aggressiveness to everyone equally. <laughs> right, but I, I but I'm lighthearted and I like laughing and I like other people to laugh and you know what I mean and the people around me I like to laugh I like them to laugh a lot right like, and you like to discredit people as they open their mouth so as soon as someone starts to talk you say oh here we go here we go <laughs> no tell me tell me what do you no no go ahead <laughs> go ahead oh here we go here we go oh, let's yeah. hear from Warner what do you got sorry sorry to interrupt go ahead what do you uh, go ahead. Yeah, I do, but I do that to everybody. Like it's not, oh, no. it's not. I I definitely don't just fucking gang up on one person and like let's hear like. No, I just but yeah, I just I just think that it's funny that there isn't a comedy show run by the uh, 
the conservatives. You know right. what I mean? Not not a single one. And they could do they could do so well. So when I mention all the things that I watch, like I love John Oliver, like last night tonight or whatever it's called. That guy, that John Oliver guy, the he's always great. He is. I'll give he's you great. that. That guy is yep. fucking good. He is Seth good. Meyer. And he says it with a straight face a lot, man. Like he's real, man. Yeah. He's the, he's, he's the closest <laughs> he's the closest comedy show that actually is like a real reporter. Right. John Oliver. He he comes you know, up with some good shit. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he, it's no, all out there. Like, you know what I mean? Well, all you got to do um, is pay attention. Yeah, like what's really cool about his show is that he will break it down. You know, he only does it once a, once a week. And so he just picks like, you know, up until now or even the Trump world has turned, you know, that's the biggest thing that he hates is that. But it also works to the advantage of everything because it keeps people blind to all the other things going on because every story has been about Trump. For four yep. years. In fact, there's got to be a slight like uh, 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 jealousy of Trump that like Corona's getting more like hits on fucking Google than. than Don't you he think is, that's you why know? he went with his ratings? What he was bragging about his ratings? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's him, that's him competing fuck. with so, Corona. Yeah, did you? Yeah, see that it's shit? like all of a sudden he's just like, oh my god, there's something you know, and he's like pissed about it, and then all of a sudden his drive is going to be not to like save lives, but to like get better ratings than Corona by making those numbers disappear. And then he yeah, comes no, out shit. yesterday saying how he's got his drug enforcement people on. Like he came out yesterday in that press conference and was like. Didn't even come out talking about what we were doing about the coronavirus. Started talking about um, getting cocaine dealers and shit like that on the border, how they ramped all that up now because... Yeah, because uh, if you remember, they built the wall because the caravans were coming and they were going to rape and murder... Oh, don't worry. And, and, and bring all these drugs, man. Like, you know, that was right a real that. threat. That was oh, a real got, threat. We got a so hundred... Six now he's looking for him again. 163 miles more uh, wall done and blah, 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 all this blah, blah, blah. shit. Yeah, yada, just, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> Fucking this. Well, game. listen, hey, I gotta, I gotta play a sound clip. Will that get you guys? Uh, will that get you guys yanked? Are you allowed to play sound clips? I think we're okay. No, with, we're okay with the know? sound, especially a fifth party sound clip. Yeah, it's gonna, be all st- a, it's gonna be all. Uh, it won't no, it'll be, be uh, perfect. I mean, it'll be perfect. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, play it. Play it, bro. Um, well, this is just my – because I have <clears> – <throat> like I said before, I've never unfollowed anyone on Facebook because of their political opinions. Even like even the ones that, that are – they all they want to do is trigger and gaslight and everything like that. I follow everybody because that's what they want. Like the, the person pulling the strings, they want us – they want division. You know, right. They want to divide and conquer. So I still keep people around even though they're yeah, fucking Yeah, me awful. too. My theory on it actually is that uh, do you block some people? Lange? No, I don't at all. Oh, all right. Um, I believe that uh, that that some people, including you know myself, they're not even like it's different. It's a different, it's a different thing. It became like a political. It's almost like its own uh, house. Like we're all representatives of Earth or U.S. <laughs> or wherever we're from, and we all just like jump out and give our two cents, and that's like. Really, that's like government and politics in a nutshell. So it's like it is the yeah. place for it. And so right. when you enter that world, it's like um, you either are going to step up and you're going to say, look, I don't like the way this is going or or, you know, this or that or what you're saying is, uh, you know, is is, you know, and that's that's kind of where I've been lately is I've been upset that of the uh, misinformation and it's been something that's really made me oh like it's angry. fucking all over it's like i'm so all of a the- sudden like angry and now when we're in a situation where it's truly life or death and i don't see any way that um people that are su- supporters of him right now that's all that needs to be brought up is like and then forced down their throat is this 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 doesn't matter what they say about anything it's like they can't they can't be like economy because you're like oh horseshoes and hand grenades Right. Right. Only right. counts because where is it now? Right. And right. that was under his leadership. So, right. You, you know got, what I mean? All it's right. Like, so this is the classic thing. Oh, so though. you had a good economy for right. when? That's the classic thing of like a four quarter football game. Just because you're leading by a lot in the beginning, when it gets to the end, <laughs> you have to be in the fucking lead. And guess where he's at right now? We're, we are getting towards the end of his first yeah. run. You know what I mean? So you're you're totally right. Like, just because you're, oh, think you're doing well, when it comes fucking stop time, where are you at? And it, 
like over 6.6 million have filed for unemployment. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna bring up. Same All right, page, man. That's I'm not looking at any pages. Shit. I just I, that's one thing. I it's in my fucking brain because I keep seeing it on the TV. They keep driving that home. So six point six um, million unemployed. Is that two? Wow. Is that a two percent? More than that, man. Two percent right? of the well, three hundred fifty million. Two percent of the population. Because one percent would be thirty. 30 so oh. yeah it's not even all right it's less than but still that's a lot is that right there's 300 <laughs> 300 million 10 i don't know i don't know i can't even work with with fucking zeros and ones. right at the current moment it's okay again if anybody wants to uh you know write in or uh type on our thing give us the uh, correct answer that'd be great and there we go and just always I forgot we're on a podcast. I'm not watching it, so I'm just thinking. Yeah. You know, I'm just thinking we're on, a, we're, we're on a phone call. And just always looking for someone to type on his thing. So that's cool, man. Yeah, well, listen, looking. this is <laughs> <laughs> so the, the misinformation part that, I, that that's the only part that really gets me. It really gets me that wants me to engage. Oh yeah, right? it does. And Ange, I was talking to you about that er, uh, a while ago, uh, one late night, where you're like, "That's where you get in online," because I don't. I don't want to be controversial posts. I don't want to be like, well, here's my opinion, fuck your opinion, blah, blah, blah. But you see someone put out false information. All, and, all the time. And then, yeah, and then you, it's easier to – because then you're not arguing an opinion. You know? You're arguing facts. Right. But the genius of the Trump administration is they have found a way to disregard facts. And it's the strangest thing because they just they just do. Like as soon as it's like talking to my dad about something that we disagree about, there's a point where he's the dad, I'm the son, and he pulls that card. Right. We'll be having an argument, and you know he's like, "God damn it, you know I'm your father." And then all of a sudden it, it strikes a chord with me where I'm like, "Yep, you know what I mean? Like you're right." And then I just so my facts don't matter. Oh. And and they they like that's a thing now, and that is coming into play with this misinformation because now they're in the backpedaling stage. And everyone's learning. Oh, and there's some people that have really like dug their heels in as far as like big time. Get out big there time. and let's make it happen. And even right now, when they're saying, I mean, you know, you've been, we've all been tracking this for a while. And the numbers, you know, social distancing in quotes, which is just basically go about your business, keep away from each other, was going to result in 265, you know, thousand, uh, uh, hospitalizations at the peak of you know this deal that was going to be the end of April. That's what their their estimations were. These right. numbers, you know, the worst case scenario was do nothing, and we were looking at five hundred thousand cases hospitalized in you know by about the same time. So we're just supposed to be you know flattening this hump, and right. we can't even get it to like second tier. Like we are ultimate failures as a, a people that we're not going to be able to get this thing at the numbers that are climbing right now. You right. know what I'm saying? And so that's where that's where the backpedaling needs a script. You know what I mean? The backpedaling needs the they they need to read the the Trump supporters and everybody who really dug their heels in or even made the comments and made the posts like this is the flu. This is like the flu. More people died in the flu. More people died with homelessness. They learn these these phrases and then that's what they use to build your antibodies get right. out and that, there and, and and get a little bit a little yes bit of so it. they use this rhetoric to to kind of promote their agenda Vitamins. but then when that blows up in their face now they they never said that right they never said it was like the flu what they're saying now and this is the this is if you were going to argue it and you, you had to win the argument this is the argument you would choose is you would say I didn't compare it to the flu. I compared people's misreaction to this pandemic that we're having as, uh, you know, that they should think of it like the flu and not be scared of it like it's this big crazy thing. You know, they were trying to let us know that the coronavirus was just a regular illness. Right. And and but it's it's very, very serious. Right. But. You know, that's what they're saying now. They were like, no, no, no. We were just letting you know you weren't going to bleed from your eyes. But they, and but, you weren't going to die in a crazy way. It's basically like the flu, but it's serious. But then they went and, and started comparing the deaths as 
deaths to flu and deaths to car accident are more than deaths to corona. Now, corona's right. only been over here for two or three months. So how the fuck can you like um and 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 the and the worst had yet to come. Like we this was when we had like two thousand deaths or maybe fifteen hundred deaths. This is before fucking thirty five hundred deaths came within a month, not even. Oosh. So like you could say all that and like you're saying whatever but the fact is when you compare deaths like to something that is just starting you're not very brilliant anyways you cannot there i don't give a fuck who you you cannot say that oh it's comparable there's more deaths to flu well you haven't even let it run its course yet for more than a fucking month so right I, and they're going by a season yeah like exactly a exactly so yep. like i mean like you and I would watch if we or watch what we said when we went to compare shit like that. If we were if we if that was us trying to compare something like that and trying to prove our point, we wouldn't yeah. come out. We're we're no way in hell. I know I know neither of us would come out and say something like that if we were on if we were thinking the other way. Like oh this isn't very this isn't a big deal. Uh, we would never compare it to like deaths in something, especially something that's only happened for a month and a half or two months that we know of or so. Yeah, it proves they didn't take it serious. They're willing to go to those lengths. They don't even know the severity of the comments they're making. And that really, right. that's what bred the, the ignorance in people still going out. There's still people posting today that <clears throat> it's not that bad. It's being overblown. Like, yes, you should practice social distancing. Like, you know, whatever, but it's not as bad as people say. They want the economy to crash. People want this worse than it is. Yeah, so. No one wants the economy to crash. But, but why? Like, uh, but why you're bringing? Sorry, why you're bringing that up? There is still twelve states that haven't um, done shelter in place yet. There's still twelve states. Some of these yeah. states. Some of the and states. I bet they're all. I bet they're. I can name them every off. Every one of them. Every one of them's a red state. I would. I would guarantee it. There's probably I, I'll not I'll name a the states exception. off, but I, I'm not 100 percent on the red sh red part. But you, you Iowa, guys will Nebraska, know. Nebraska, South Dakota, uh, Missouri, uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Alabama, South Carolina, Wyoming, and Utah. Bible belt. You're shitting me. That's oh, wait, wait, waiting. Hold on. Did you just read? You just read what the red states were? No, no. I just read what. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just. That's what I I know that. I like just, that list. I just read that list. I just read is states that are not the whole state's not in shelter in place. Um, so, uh, um, Wyoming, Utah, Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Alabama, South Carolina have parts of the state. Where they're in um, shelter in place and right. social distancing. The other states still, uh, uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, and Arkansas, all are fucking running, running like it's not, you know what I mean? No social distancing, restaurants, but everything's still open. So I get, I, business I would say as usual. A common denominator in all those states, if you don't even do uh, the red states. I'm going to do it though. I'm going to figure that out religion. right now. Religion, right? I bet you every actually, one of those states are begging for Bible fucking, banging, man. They're begging for uh, Jesus to come back, but too bad they wouldn't even recognize him. But they're also every Sunday grouping together in large groups, and in yeah, I bet you they have. I don't know much about organized religion as far as their practices, like physically. Dude, every I know it's I know Sundays the day, but there's probably other days too where they have like candle vigils, and I bet you in times like this. With all these people out of work, that yeah. there's a lot of churches being like, "Come eat here, come inside, have a sandwich." Community. Right. All right. You know? So, so in Florida, they did that stuff, whatever. But they're still gonna let them do like, um, as of this morning, they're still gonna let them do like religious, like church and shit, mm -hmm. religious gatherings still. And every one of them, I just looked. Every one of them states I named off is a fucking red state. Yeah, the only one you missed is like Florida, Georgia. Louisiana is Louisiana state. <laughs> <laughs> it is a state. Um, it is a state, yeah. and it is a red one. <laughs> yeah, and but it's uh, that's that's that makes sense. See, see now that's my point <clears throat> is they're trying to backpedal now. The Trump administration is trying to backpedal now, saying they never said the things that led to this behavior right now, and that is the inability to accept how dangerous the coronavirus is. 
because these people follow the word so hard that when Trump comes out and says it's a hoax, it's like the flu, it's it's not that bad. They mark this one, yeah. They're going to say the numbers that we're getting are false, that they're not right. even accurate, and it's not. Yes, it, exactly. Because like, so so I've heard the argument that... that everything, every time someone dies for any reason, they're putting it. And we talked about that yesterday. That's bullshit. And that's bullshit. It has to be COVID related. To, it's very strict. It's a very strict uh, guideline. Like this is, you know, come on. Well, it'll be undiagnosed. And when the undiagnosed. Like we can't like, even get think, masks. How can we coordinate a, a conspiracy right. of that size? Well, they're just not going to take the time to do autopsies on dead people. They're going to spend that time on people that are that have a chance to survive. So they're not, no one is going to be doing an autopsy trying to figure out unless it's, well, unless they, it's you know, supposed to happen. So. They've been trying to do uh, uh, autopsies on some of them to try to figure out about the, about the virus. Like right. once if they, they fit, know, if they fit the right. Oh, is that my boy? He's up. Yeah. He just walked Quick in there. Nap, I really, huh? I really, I really dropped the ball. He Stacey's took... going to find out watching this podcast. Hey, <laughs> he took a quick. He, doing, man? he took a quick. Uh, quick nappy. Quick nap. Does he have any words of wisdom? Here, you sit right here. Say hey. Say hi, Mang and Needs. No. Oh, yeah. We don't. We don't talk much when we get up from the nap. <laughs> oh no. But um, so so that's my my main my main beef to to try to pull this all together like what i was saying because all these everything that we've been talking about since i called it culminates into like this this backpedaling like the misinformation the and then they're trying to reaffirm that they never said that and like what people are saying now is that trump is only saying this stuff because he's being forced to because it's it's politics now but we're it's not, not just it's picking still on, not as serious we're not just picking on him because it's him because Oh, there's a lot of presidents that lie and do. Um, yeah, they just lie better. Right, way better. Like Nixon, I guess Nixon maybe was a tad bit better liar, like just a tad yeah. bit because he. It got, just depends on how much you get caught. It's yeah, like the way. I mean? It's like the same all, way that he talked about. You know, they, the story came up about kissing the ring of the king, and that, uh, you know. Um, and that he explained, you know, it's it, it, he explained that, you know, you, of course I want people to be nice to me and that I'm going to treat them nicer if they're nice to me and I'm not going to call them if they're mean to me right? and all that stuff. And it's just like it's because that's that's like business. That's like how he deals. And this isn't government is not business. And I'm so like un, I, I just think that it's a to put it in that same, you know, to think that made him qualified to do anything. Especially you a know, person that's never had anybody say no to him or, right. you know, uh, uh, disagree with one of his opinions or, you know, it just, come on, come on. He's got yes men all around him. That's his whole thing. And, and if so they don't, he nobody, fires them. Yeah, and nobody. Yeah, if you want an interview with the president, it. you got to start by, Mr. Trump, I just want to say before we get going, I don't know how, I don't know how you're holding up so well. You're just, not only are you the most handsome man that I've ever interviewed, but you're also just so powerful that, yeah. that I can just feel your power. I can, and I can his, response, your power. his response will be, well, you know, what you, you know, should Ryan, have said. I'm a humble man. Yeah. And you're like, I'm, I'm one of the most humble men people have ever met. <laughs> you know, it's like, he, he's on. like, what you should have said, <laughs> what question you should have asked, or you should have complimented my hair. Yeah, no shit. It's blowing in the wind. It? How do you do it? You know, I'd be afraid to hang out. I'd be afraid to hang out within Trump's earshot because he would hear so many people telling me right. how glorious my hair is. Right. He would. He <laughs> put a fucking target on my head. Right. I'd be like, shush, 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 don't shush, don't say that. I appreciate it, but but don't say that shit out loud. Building I'd wild. Ain't head. seen nothing yet. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Ain't seen nothing. Yep. But so this this fucking backpedaling thing. Like, so wait, do you um, have a clip that you're gonna play for us? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So he's saying now that he never called it. See, he never said it was like the flu. Right. Well, he did that. He also, they, I saw when he was doing one of his uh, little rallies. cases, man. There's going to be 15. Yeah. And then there's going to be he was doing, and then zero. Right? When he was doing yeah. one of his rallies, they, I saw the tape on it. He did say this is some kind of Democratic fucking hoax thing. Like he... 
I mean, that's just going to get your, and he knows it too. That gets his people just fired the fuck up. And then they're yeah, the ones on the internet running their yip to all these other people when they don't even, bullying, they're not trying to start anything. The they internet. just say one thing. And if they say something about the Corona, say 20 days ago, then all of a sudden somebody would see that, read that, and they'd light right up, light their page right up. Next thing you know, there's fucking 200 and something comments on someone's page that was just yeah, they attack them. was just trying to tell people to be safe. Fuck. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, the kid I was complaining about before, Mr. Tough guy, because all the other, you know what I mean? He made all these posts right. like he was something, you know, yeah. and his whole, his whole thing was, Oh, it's like the flu. Here's the numbers. Uh, you know, you people are sheep. Get you know, your think antibodies for built up, man. Yeah, but yeah. See, see, think for yourself, says the man taking all of his cues from the Trump administration. Right, and and then they go and call you a sheep and shit. These motherfuckers can't come up with anything better than that. Like that's what I'm like. You know, what they I don't mean? come up with anything on their own. They follow the script. Yeah, man. It's all see, that's out. that's like that's where you and I and and we all differ from all that shit because we're at least we're clever enough to like if we're gonna say something that's idiotic like that, we're gonna come up with our own fucking saying or whatever and throw it in there so it's clever not fucking yeah not you're a yeah, bunch that's of why, sheep yeah the whole <laughs> the whole china virus i like doing posts and then putting at the end i bet i know i bet none of you will share oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that shit you, murders you me. bet right <laughs> that shit murders uh, me i'm boy. like you guarantee it i bet most of you haven't even read it this far and no. if you're my real friend of that Fuck you. Yeah, I Yo, heard the, it. The, heard absolute, it. <laughs> the absolute best one, though, I ever saw was a guy that it opened up and it said, this is my opinion. It started with, this is my opinion. And but it, it went wasn't, on, right? It went on for like a three-paragraph statement, and I was reading this guy's thing because he's my buddy, and I'm like, and wow, you're thinking man. it's him. You're yeah, and then all of a sudden him. it got to the end. It said, now paste now paste and subscribe now paste yeah. and put on your page and you can be and this is your you know your opinion too it was just like what yeah how can the first be yeah don't be share it don't share it copy and because paste I don't, it yeah. here's how to do it because i don't care what you believe if someone writes you know like a four paragraph opinion that doesn't really have any expertise in something necessarily you're not just going to be like i agree word for word with everything right. that person said Fucking so yeah but it seems the misconception is you when you see someone that wrote that much i'm like oh wow dougie smith actually took the time to write three paragraphs i should probably <laughs> read it because this motherfucker doesn't say anything like that so he's probably yeah. serious and then you get to the end and he copy and pasted it it's like you Mother you know, fucker. Come on. You little cock fucking goblin. Yeah, I almost liked you for a minute telling, my you know, my listening. kitchen's open to everyone and, you know, come when you're, <laughs> you know, whenever Sorry, you're having Carol. trouble. I'm like, what a nice guy, dude. I'm like, that's such a nice thing to say. Sorry. Copy and paste if you agree. If you grew up in a small town like me. Yeah. You know, oh. In a village. Sorry about the swearing, Carol and Pep. I'll yeah. watch my, no uh, shit. I'll watch my. <laughs> All right, so look, I got this clip. This is this is Trump not talking about the flu because that's that's the thing now, and all of his people, he didn't say it was like the flu. All right, let's this have it. A... Like a flu, it's <laughs> like the like regular flu that we have flu shots for, and we'll essentially have a flu shot for this in a fairly quick manner. The flu in our country kills from twenty five thousand people to sixty nine thousand people a year. That was shocking to me. Over the last 10 years, we've lost 360,000. These are people that have died from the flu, from what we call the flu. What do you mean we call the flu? <laughs> oh, that's Seth, that's Seth Myers. So <laughs> what right, do you mean? You know, what's, you know what else, though, is that this is actually um, – it's a SARS. Like, yeah. yeah. Like it's not right. – it's, it's different. Not, and SARS like was an animal to human – and now pigs. COVID, yeah, like they it, this it is like this is switched the type it of, now from human to human, and, and, and then now I, through not only droplets but aerosol. Which I means, wish no, that, it's not through aerosol now. That's what they're saying is that it, it's like how to. Of course, you have to protect yourself from just talking. They did. Uh, you know yeah. what happened? There was a um a group of singers. It's definitely that get airborne. together. They get together and sing, and they continue to get together and sing. And every one of them tested positive, and two of them have died. It was like in a group of like eighteen singers. They were choir, around. right? The so, choir, right? Yeah. So they're singing 
and those there's are, droplets those, when you sing, man. There's droplets. Not air, but they, more they, aerosol. They've proved they that didn't that touch it, each other. Yeah, they, they didn't make any contact. That it's airborne yeah, and it can stick that's around. Still, man, think about your microphone. Think all about right. all the shit that gets on your mic. Warner, I all right. Yeah. So, so they, so they pulled this out this morning that I watched or whatever. Like you can breathe up in the air, or whatever, and leave for uh, over an hour or whatever, and somebody else could come in and still get it. I saw. Yeah, but that I is a, that's an aerosol. Morning. That's that's not Corona. Corona is not an aerosol. That's airborne, and that's what this they fit. I'm telling you, I saw all this morning. Curtis and I watched it. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man. I'm I, telling that, you, it's it, that's been uh, that's been that's on the CDC thing too, man. They're saying it's person to. They're saying it's human to human, and you got to look out for the sneezes and the coughs. But they're also saying that the aerosols are sticking around longer yeah. than an actual droplet that hits the ground. And the aerosol, so it is just, that's why six foot, but really it's more like 10 foot. And a sneeze can actually go 20 oh, sneeze is 14 feet. Yeah. yeah. Crazy amount of distance. Um, well, see, the thing about if it's an aerosol, that means the masks won't do anything. Well, that if, it depends. Not, though. If you're wearing aerosol, a mask, it's not aerosol like it's just lingering around forever. It's aerosol like it sticks, it, it lingers longer. And that if you're you know, wearing a mask and you're infected, it will it will help that. Well, it'll help you. Yeah, it'll help you from from coughing through. But that's see, that's the thing. That's where that's where science comes in, man. There's no like there there's no gray area between an aerosol, an airborne virus, and a person to person. You know what I'm saying? Like. If it was if it was airborne, everyone's gonna get it. Everyone's gonna get it. Well, that's the like Josh that's said. It'll it'll to... stay it, it'll stay in the air. Well, that's the problem. For like Twenty four hours that they're running into here. Like, however, that's it why will like die if... on its own if it if it runs the cycles, and that is why it's the lockdown. Because right. if you can lock down for long enough, then anybody that had it, it's gonna die and it's gone until. You know, I wish on that clip that you played that that fucker. He also said they were also saying, oh, we hope it when in warmer weather, it die. It'll die in out. April. It'll die in April. Yeah. But guess well, but see, it's, that's, but it's not a, some, what? Go ahead. Well, there's a little bit to that. There, not, there it's is. It's a, if it's like a flu or something, but this is more like an AIDS or something. The oh. way that comes. So, you know what I mean? The way it is, the the, the way it is, is it, you know what I mean? AIDS doesn't die because it gets warm out. You know what I mean? It's no. it's it's far so from you, the flu. So this isn't a. This uh, is from. It is from an animal. So what? AIDS was from an animal. You know what I mean? Like AIDS is from a monkey, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's damn right it is. Fucking Michael Jackson, dude. You know who did it? <laughs> Don't act like you didn't know. Oh, Michael Jackson just happened to have a monkey in the eighties. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, um, if you can't if you can't follow those footprints, right? <laughs> so wait a second. <laughs> so what's the uh, what's the so the flu is not from an animal. That's not it's not a SARS. It's not anything like that. It's just uh, where's the flu from? Well, I don't. I'm all right. Now you're stepping into a different realm of yeah, our unknown. Yeah. Anybody else wants to uh, give us? Yeah, a I was call. gonna say maybe someone maybe if someone could explain the difference because I know the difference. We can take a call with Ryan on the phone actually at, at the uh, number. Oh, nice. He's on a different uh, thing, so we are right. uh, lines are open six zero seven three seven three heat four three two eight. If anybody knows yeah. any information about uh, the origin of the flu, I guess we do have the uh, the well, wonderful internet in here that I could I could probably if you guys want to talk we could. I yeah, because I know more info. I know more about the coronavirus and how the virus works. It was than caused, I do about the flu. It well, except was for caused the part by about the H one N one, but yeah, the aerosol is scary, man. But it's you know it's it's uh but that's that's the mutations. So first it was animal to animal, and only animals could get it, and then it mutated from right. animal to human, and right. only humans could get it from an animal. You know, so you'd have to get it from the pig, you'd have to get it from a bat. See, it. and then it and then it uh, it mutated human to human. And now, now we can get it. But if it mutates again, it can do simple things like now it's only affecting, like it's not affecting children. But something could happen. It could mutate again and start affecting children. It could mutate again and become airborne. But it would have to. That that'd be like a, a tipping point. It would actually have to physically change to become airborne. Um, and that's scary as fuck, dude. 
Like it really is. Like if someone sneezed in an elevator, right, and then you walked in three five minutes later, yeah. You know the singing. Like you dig deep in your in your what is it held in your esophagus? Most, like on the way down, is that yeah, right? Yeah, uh, the diaphragm. Yeah. So, but it, before it gets in your lungs and it comes from your lungs out. Um, but when you sing, you're singing from your lungs, right? You're, well, you're, you're not singing, breathing, you're not belly, belly breathing or whatever. Like it's, it's not the like diaphragm, you're diaphragm. So you're pushing out. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely, you know, it depends. It, it but, you want a belly sing, but come on. I mean, but like they, part of the thing was that they did not make any contact with each other. There, nobody was uh, coughing. There wasn't anything like that. And it was, um, yeah, but you uh, spit when you sing, man. You definitely all right. spit when you well, sing. Well, yeah. All right. So, so explain this. They weren't like singing oh. rock songs. These I was gonna like... say this was like Sublime. <laughs> yeah. All were... right. So explain this, Warner. They're not like they were like in Italy, in France. That kind of shit. They are like... spraying down whole city blocks, like the walls up oh. 20, 30 feet of the oh. buildings, the walls, the signs, the streets. Everything they're spraying down with disinfectant, right? So, so you they're tell me that you tell they're me that they're not worried about it sticking in the air when no one's there for a while. Like right. th they're worried about like it, even man. twelve hours on brick, uh, twelve twenty feet high. You're trying to tell me that somebody's going to come along and touch that, right? But they're worried about That's the why... wind blowing. They're worried okay, about it. Okay, so here's where again we get into that. I'm not. I can't call conspiracy, but. Yeah, my, hold on, not, I gotta, I gotta bury my kid. He just coughed on me. Yeah. Uh oh. Fuck. Just throw. Are you upstairs? Not, just I'm throw not, him out the window. I'm not singing that. But <laughs> what I am him, saying dude. is that when and if the moment of came where whether it was an asteroid or whether it was a uh, <laughs> uh, 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 a nuclear um, did attack you see the space station last that night? They know about and like w at what point would you calm the people and we talked about it yesterday that maybe they're just easing us in to say yeah this is going to be a year they start by saying two weeks yeah and that's trump's game is he's like jesus you're scaring the people we got to do it my way and my way is to you know ease them in uh jesus keep... christ so they're they're foot they're giving us the foot in the door technique oh yeah, fuck yeah. Like, oh hell yeah they are the man. Other way around. and then we're like so people are looking at us because we're like on the uh how I would call it like the intelligence side to like take he take the warnings. There is data that that shows that that there's ways to to make this better and we're taking it. But at the same time, other people are looking at it like, um, you know, we're like the good little boys that follow in order because pretty soon it's going to be a full lockdown. And we were the first ones to just say, sure, lock us down. No problem. Right, like it was our idea. Yeah, right. Like, then, oh, uh, it's your idea. It was your idea, and it's like it wasn't my idea. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Um, keep getting these things. Nice. That was a nice uh, water water chug. You like that? Live on <laughs> air. Look at thirsty. Um, Man, I wish I can't. I'm not watching it because of the delay. I gotta. Oh, I gotta go back. You can That's go back. Okay. You could do a family gathering. Um, hey, did you did so you I, flip the little Jimmy's advertisement upside down yet? Uh, I got it over on the other. It's over on the other table. Yeah, we're now. adjusting some stuff. We I got just a killer been, background. I right keep now. swipping things around. Like we did I, I keep we changed up Josh's background and uh, and I got a oh gotta, man, yeah, I got to log around. in, man. Yeah, I got to see that shit. Gotta, and uh, okay, but I did pull up the origins of uh the flu, right. the influenza, okay. uh, the Spanish flu, or it, so it's that's a, like right up. It's an H one N one, right, Ange? H one N one is the SARS, so that's the other one. That's the uh, that's like, but anyway, go ahead. I want to I want to know this. Uh, it's thousands of years. So history, uh, in, influenza was discovered not by direct study of the disease in humans, but rather from studies on animal diseases. In 1918, J S Cohen, a veterinarian, observed a disease in pigs, which he believed. To be the same disease as the now famous Spanish, Spanish influenza flu. pandemic of 1918. In 1928, uh, McBird attempted to transmit influenza from pig to pig by taking mucus from the respirator tract of a sick pig and installing it into the noses of healthy pigs. However, this effort failed to transmit the disease because they uh, inoculated only filtered material most types of bacterial filters using 
used during the time were unable to allow the flow of viral particles through them. Huh. That would be that's person to person. The viral particles. So that's that's like not sneeze or that sneezing. Right. Particles. So they like okay. And sneeze doesn't necessarily yeah. So then it goes on during the same year. I don't know, man. There's a lot to read about it. Yeah, there's but a lot hey, there you go. So the so the common flu is from animals. Yeah. Eventually or somehow. It looks like it was from a pig or from animals and then they were doing stuff with pigs and then that probably mutated it into something else. Who invented the flu? Those are like the questions people ask. Invented nineteen thirty eight, Jonas Salt. Thomas Francis developed the first vaccine, vaccine against the flu virus. Well, no one knows more about the flu than Donald Trump. Right. No. Maybe maybe someone should ask. Well, him. if you heard my earlier segment of when he said nobody knows more about South Korea and then quoted they had 38 million people, but in the end, the 38M was actually 125 feet above sea level. So it was a Wikipedia information. And whether or not he just did a quick thing to find out a little bit of information and 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 thought he read that that was the population of uh, Seoul. Seriously, that's what I'm saying. That's Jesus. what we're talking about. Is that's like a poor researcher, a two minute, you know, he was like taking a shit and wanted to see what he <laughs> could find out about fucking South Korea, and uh, and went to Wikipedia. And if you if you go there, oh, man, see. That first year, I know I've said this before, but that first year of the Spanish flu, man, it killed over fucking 17 million people worldwide. Um, 500 million people were infected with it. Like, it wasn't no fucking... Oh, see, they don't even know. It's from 17 to 50 million people died. They don't even have it fucking narrowed down. What? Jesus. So, we yelling at? No, you, what? What don't they? This one or the uh, the flu? No, the Spanish flu back when it happened oh, in 1918. They a lot don't of even, people. Yeah, it, do they have it from 17, anywhere oh, from 17 million to 50 million people died. They don't even know, like, that's how far oh, off yeah. they are. So that's a fucking lot of, that's a lot of people anyway. 17 million is a lot of people, no matter how you look at it. So, and that's the first year. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is the first year or so. We're not, we're not, it's not estimated that high, but still, man, it's still fucking something serious to think about and protect yourself. And I know, and I know they, all right, so the cities that they locked down and shit back then too, because this was spreading, they were smart enough. And the cities that did had way fewer cases than the cities that didn't. So it's just like, that shit works, man. Locking down. Yeah, no shit, man. Yeah, that's a lot of death. A lot of cases, too. Over 500 million cases. Jesus. See, it'd be more beneficial, I think, for the Trump administration. I think they're going to start shifting it. Trump's going to hear on the street, right? He's going to be like, I don't know. I heard. I heard. That, uh, that maybe they did this on purpose. Maybe China did this on purpose because I was doing such a good job as a president and I bent them over my knee and spanked them, well, put sanctions a... on them. <clears throat> it seems because it's getting dire and he's not going to, they're just, you know, not saying he didn't call it the flu in the beginning is not going to be enough, man. I really think that, that it's not too much of a stretch for him to lean on it because they're really committed to this China virus. Again, another reason why they didn't, uh, nobody cared if they nominated, uh, who they put up against him on the uh, Democratic side. Because well, no, that's it, what they were saying. It's that like that want... factor that it doesn't matter. It's such a disaster that this guy cannot possibly get reelected is the way I would see it. But Obviously, what people, do I know? All his people, the only thing we... His people, they, they're going to, they're going to, yeah, whatever. Joe's they're... got a chance. I say, I... I... Yo, man, when, when funerals start not being able to happen in... in uh, even in our small towns are are going to be overflowed it's i'm just that's that's my you know there's a lot of cases and even in our our radius here guys like i almost feel like in the end it's going to be you know the first is obviously new york city and then it's going to be the the people that wouldn't listen are going to get hit the hardest in every right. place and it just so happens that north like shenango county has way more cases than like they had over Delaware 100. and way more cases than uh 
then our other neighbor, um, uh, what the hell, the other side, but whatever. How as many of, cases um, are in Chenango County right as now? As of yesterday. It was like 30-something. Right, but they yeah. had 135 people on mandatory quarantine as right. of yesterday because they those people were and waiting no tests. tests. Yeah, they, they didn't waiting. even get tests yet. Yeah. But um, actually, Shelly did get a test. Oh, she asked no. for a test as a worker there, and uh, she didn't. She tested uh, negative. That was – it took a few days, and I was like, oh, man, you're in. Because she, like, had – you know, she wasn't feeling well a little bit, so she got scared and – Oh, and uh, so they, uh, she took the day off, and then she took a day then off. They, then they got man. A, you just, you probably just test. gave Josh the flop sweats, man. No, I'm telling you though. I mean, no, because we don't. I mean, we're not in the same household, so she was basically quarantined, man. It's right. A, it's a fuck yeah. It's a different deal, man. I wouldn't uh, talk to her on the phone, man. <laughs> Get it through the phone. The, like I said, the, the cooties. It's like <laughs> yeah. a real thing now. But cooties. like I said, she, uh, she tested. Uh, negative and although she's in that w- field so she's risking it every oh, day yeah exactly and yeah. obviously um another reason why um i'm i feel so strongly about you know cut the bullshit cut the politics and just sign whatever you got to do to get these people what they need and then you, you you hear this disgusting things about new york is competing with new jersey right um yeah, to uh, out, washington yeah. st- uh, a guy in montana this was another one i saw where he was on the phone saying that he his orders were getting canceled for things that they had already had right because uh with the claim from the uh supplier that the government shut off all deliveries of these things right so then they're turning around to ask uh you know the federal government and they're saying oh if you want those things then we can do that but there's no coordination and it's just an awful um awful situation but that was a, that was a red state montana governor saying w you know wtf and that was a whole phone call that was like a i i yeah whatever leaked phone call that um where he where his response was he he like turned it to be it was on uh uh fauci there you know like he's like oh i haven't heard of any uh delays in in orders you know looking looking around the room even though it was just an audio call Jesus but yeah, man, same shit. It's like that one. Yeah, look that one up. And that's him talking with a governor from, like I said, Red State, Montana. Oh, um, Montana? And it's not him saying, oh, the guy from Washington, he's not my buddy. I don't like him. He doesn't. You know, uh, he tried to run for president, didn't get any any votes and all this other and stuff. And that lady you know, from Michigan, like, he says. And then that late, yeah, like all that, like just such a, and then, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not taking any uh, preference over them, even though they suck. You know, it's just like, and even, uh, yeah, man, it's just, it's just a weird thing. Weird ass. Well, thing. I think they're going to, his, his behavior is going to get so bad and they're not going to realize it to where the only backpedaling is going to be extreme and they're going to go They're I, I'm almost positive that they're going to go conspiracy theory because they're still leaning on the China virus and they know better not to because anyone who says China virus is obviously just, you know, you know what team they're on, you know, right. and you're not going to take them seriously, but they're still pushing it. They're, tra- they're, they're actually putting out like, not actually, but there are documents out now being shared on Facebook that look super legitimate, but that's easy to do in Photoshop, Sun's but up they're there. basing it, Knocking you know, the door. they're basically using uh, COVID-19 as a secondary name. So it's like, you know, you'll see a thing with a really realistic scientific picture of the of the uh, coronavirus, you know, you know what I'm talking about, just a little virus with the crowns on it. Yeah. And it'll say China virus, you know, right. and in and in, in the little parentheses or whatever, COVID-19. But their their platform is going to be, in my opinion, and Trump will even say it, that he heard on the street. It's it's you know that they did this on purpose. He was doing he was doing too good. The stock markets were doing too good. The economy was doing too good. And they wanted to get back to the Democrats that made, you know, because the Democrats did do a lot of work with China. You know what I mean? All the pharmaceuticals and, and you know, we had real big ties with China. So the claim from these Trump supporters that I'm reading now is that the virus was was uh, it was perfect timing to ruin the uh, the election, to wipe out the stock markets, damage the economy, nullify the uh, everything that Trump's done as far as like economic gains. And then the China would rather 
you know, they would rather go back to our old way and even get Joe Biden. And, um, and it was all a ploy to get Joe Biden. So that covers, cause they can say, we thought it was going to be the flu, but who would have known that it was chemically engineered? We're going to get you know Joe. I mean? So it, 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 they tricked us, you know what I mean? They tricked us into thinking it was going to be the flu and then they hid their numbers and it was just to take us down because I guarantee you these Trump supporters that won't change their mind are going to buy that man. You know yeah, what I mean? They're unless, hear you know what I was, like that. They, they will, unless you're one of the, say there's a hundred or 200,000 people that die, unless you're part, one of them family members. And then, and then you blame it on your... China, man. You blame it on China. <laughs> China killed your grandma, man. Nah, no, nope. you blame it on motherfucker had a month, two months before. And nobody like he right now, he could like those 13, even states, right now, yeah. those 13 states. I said, I told you that are still letting people do whatever he could do a nationwide shelter in place, but he hasn't like, he's still letting it. He's still letting people fucking do what they do, make money out there and shit in them other states. Like he could have locked the whole thing down and, and we could stop progress of this disease of, of it spreading even better than we're doing now. But, but, we, but he hasn't done well, that it, yet. It's like we said when they, when they deemed uh, the stop of all non-essential work, even in New York, and then you actually read what's on there. It's like what there was almost nothing included except for you can't the go malls, to the barbers. The you know yeah the no barbers. Nails. Even like restaurants went from like you know uh, you know they got to close their doors to they're calling people in because they you know more work more work more work because they're just pumping out curbside. Yeah. So it's like it's not. Um, Everybody's grasping for straws because there's no uh, social security. There's no net. There's no net network for like survival. And he you hasn't know? done you anything about. You have to keep it going and like whether or not rent still do for yeah, people rents, too. And it, and it doesn't matter Mortgages. how much. It doesn't matter how much uh, you make. You're still living in that. Um, you know, like within your mean. Even if you're within your means, you're not like. <laughs> Ooh. Super within your means, you know, everybody wants nice things and to have more. So it's like you can it's everybody in the end. It's like uh, people that require more daily, you know, obviously are worse off than people that don't require as much. I, th I really I think that he needs to put in like a pause in place right now for as to say. Like uh, bank mortgages and bank loans and all that stuff. Right, that would put be a, pause that on would everything, be a... right? Like that, and then it doesn't. Then you can't say that. Oh, what about the, you? Can't not make renters pay because the people that own the buildings still own mortgages and shit. But if you put a pause on fucking everything and no one has any bills until he puts everybody back to work, and then no backlog either. No backlog bullshit. Everything's on pause right now that would that would help exponentially and nobody would be able to fucking and then then that would bring down people are worrying right now about oh, shit. about choosing oh i gotta feed my family over the rent am i gonna get kicked out when this is all over like yeah so they're people so, don't need so to be worrying about that right they're now. they're terrified to be out and realizing like because like all of us we've talked about it we um if we uh, try to, the more you think about what you touch and what you uh, are are doing, especially if you have to go out to get something that is essential, whether it's food or gasoline or, you know, whatever, and that becomes uh, like where you have to all of a sudden work these long shifts with other people. And, you know, I mean, we all, we all see it. It's like you, you, you know, there's people – it's just a whole it's a whole change man people are there's so many sick people and if you're dealing with 20 people then somebody in there is going to have it and then that person only has to touch the door right so it's like are people really walking around with full gloves and full uh, face mask no they're not People aren't even wearing. They're not doing anything yeah, any different from They're what definitely I see. recommending that even something over your face would would be great right now even and that's even if it's not, not an N95, sure yeah, if it's aerosols. Because or not. yeah, they're worried about it being air, and and they're saying even if you have something over and you're asymptomatic, and you have it, you won't spread it around. Right. The chances are way down if your face is covered, your mouth, your your little uh, 
hole there. Well, did we? Uh, is Ryan still on the phone? Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. He, he was, you haven't talked in a no, while. No, because he's practicing, man. No, he's, he's taking care of his boy, man. He's no, focused. no, Stace, no. Stace came home. I gave her yeah. the. I gave her the uh, oh, cue. Nice. <clears throat> I was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm doing on a podcast, phone babe. interview, he says. Yep. Yeah. Fucking big time. And that's this right. Is, this is serious stuff. Yeah. Take the kid. Yeah. So I uh, I went on. Um, I was just looking for some new images, you know, to throw up. And Josh Josh made a cool little picture here with, uh, you know, just of yesterday's image. And then he did his little thing where he, uh, you know, beautified it. And uh, I pulled up a bunch of like Hubble telescope shots and shit like that did you see the space station last night Anybody? i was gonna suggest all right but i guess i guess i'll do it on air that you know your your background since you started out when it was kind of like you know coronavirus ooh, now it's scary you know what i mean i see the zombies and shit no no we yeah. tra- but i changed that again yeah the oh zombies- you did the zombies was because it was the beginning of yeah the it was apocalypse. beginning of the apocalypse yeah, yeah that's we- what i mean it was funny yeah. yeah, and now it's kind of scary. So I I realize right. that too. But uh, that was just another. Uh, it, it was like an, it's not really that hard to do. But I'm kind but of we're like, lazy. I'm on this bit. schedule where you know I'm kind of in and out, and we're I'm coming down here. I'm trying to. He's got a starving you know, child. I got a star. <laughs> you do. Whatever. Yeah, I was gonna say all He's of right, us. Everyone right I talk to has an eight my, days. My, yeah, right. Good. <laughs> my, my group of friends is so tight knit. We all do the same thing. We yeah. all work for ourselves. Right. Yeah. Everyone has the same kind of thing. Like, you know, I was talking to my buddy the other day, and uh, it's like nothing's changed for us. I see everyone posting how they're cleaning out their closets and doing their gardens. And, yeah, oh, man, I, I a- finally had time to, to do this. Man, I want to work on my car. You know but I, mean? here's I want to a- do all this shit, but nothing's changed for me, man. It's, and that's it's, why, uh, because of the circumstances we're in, we've almost been, like, in place for kind of Yeah, this, we were built the, for this. Yeah, yeah. and – uh but unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there that are still forced to go to work, like a job Jesus where it's Christ. around other people. So what I what, and they're afraid because they don't see any way to not do that. Like nobody's telling them that they're not going to have to pay their rent in, you know, that's due yesterday, right? You know, or whatever the case was. So nobody's slowing down. There, uh, you know, everybody's saying, "Oh, if you don't want to go, you don't have to," and that's obviously. The 6.6 million, you know, that filed for unemployment, that's just that's just some. Right. You know, there's always the other ones that were like, oh, you know, they're too lazy, too lazy to do the paperwork that, you know, not saying lazy just because they, you know, paperwork isn't everybody's thing. So whatever. What I get a lot of people what I gathered from is a lot of people are don't like to be home a lot. Don't like, you know, alone a lot. They don't they don't like that shit. Or they're they're so used to uh, not being like home or home alone or um, cook every night. You know what I mean? Like they're they 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 don't like that. Yo, yeah. Let me. I got in- I got one for you guys. So oh. I don't know if you uh, followed this, but before I'll Trump was listen. elected, there was a guy. I didn't mean to cut you off either. Before uh, Trump was elected, there was a guy uh, that was like really crazy. The Phil- and he ended up being elected the Philippine president, uh, Rodrigo Duarte, right? Well, this guy, um, have you ever heard of this guy? He's like, I think John Oliver covered him once. And uh, basically, he just issued um, to his military, shoot them dead. It orders police and military to kill citizens who defy the coronavirus lockdown. So this is the Phil- Philippine president. That's what he uh, he just t- said to his people. But um, a, dude. but this guy this guy got elected on saying saw that, this that he would hang that he would hang people. Uh, by the way, that was courtesy of uh, Troy Abbott. Just sent that to our yeah. Link I saw right that here. this morning. Fucking um, yeah, shooting people dead. Shoot him dead. But but if you remember who that guy is, he got elected right before Trump did, and he was like. He was like running on the same dude, like rhetoric, but he was taking it the next level, like the, saying that he was gonna hang, uh, you know, prisoners. Like Trump would say, "Of course, the death penalty should be legal," and then his thing was like, "If you're a thief, you'll be hung in the streets." Right. You know? And they were like, "Yeah, elect this dude." Yeah, get him in. And there. you're like, "Oh shit, dude!" If you see, the- and so it kind of triggered, you know, this feeling of like uh, that it was gonna, you know, like, oh no, is the world tilting towards this like? 
edgy, um, you know, kill the kill the hippie kind of move. <laughs> or picture, I would feel comfortable, man. If I would feel more comfortable, as much as I didn't think I would, if if there was martial law and there was fucking uh, Hummers patrolling uh, the village of Oxford, oh, yeah. and they were going to shoot anyone who stepped outside. I would be like, thank God. Right. They're making these people take it serious. Thank the good okay, Lord. Okay, so then, so then I you want see, my uh, own Hummer. You yeah. know what I mean? Just to make you listen. You know what I mean? If you kill my fucking mother, you know what I'm saying? If you're walking around touching door handles and being fucking going out when you're not supposed to, like I can't go to the fucking Dollar General for an emergency run without fucking running into 10 fucking people right. under the age of fucking 30. Right. You know, and it's like, Jesus Christ, I waited in the parking lot of the Dollar General until it was like, it, until it was down to three cars. Right. You know, and it's like, you got to be fucking kidding me. But I would feel comfortable if it was, if it was something like that, you know, because I'm sorry, man. It's, it's just leaving it up to stupid people that don't give a fuck about anybody. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's, I guess that's a downfall of freedom, but fuck you, man. That's, that's you know kind of, I mean? that's one of the things I wanted to point out was that I felt like this map is almost like, like the free the free countries are going to suffer the most because they are unable to control their population by sim because they are, they've created so much freedom has created so much distrust freedom. anyway, because you can, oh, yeah. in, 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 uh, you know, the way everything is so, uh, uh, partisan and it's just like, um, you know, here we are. It's like all these places where it's like, you know, Italy, Spain, those are like loving, you know, hugging countries. Germany, on the other hand, they Communist seem to be China, but um, China's like just floating down that 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 deal like France is going to pass Iran. Like, that's how I see this is everybody else is going to climb. Well, despite whether, you know, like I said, maybe they just stopped reporting and shit is blown up there again once everybody's out. But um, regardless, we have numbers and we're following them. And here we are. Right. You know, yep. same old thing. We're looking at the U.S. with 200. Well, this the recovered thing is always a little bit. Yeah, because they're not recovered yet. So United States, they're saying okay, 10,000. So we're saying uh, of the 238,836 cases, there are 5,768 deaths, and 10,360 people have recovered. So that's 15,000 recovered away from the 38. Hey, man, not good. It's still uh, like 118, you know, 120, whatever, 120,000, 22,000, uh, 222,000 active cases. Right. In the U.S. alone. Man, 25,000 new today. And we are like New York as a state which is which we are in New York regardless of we're 3 hours away and you know it's one of the hottest places that any of these telecom people are traveling to that are coming right. back to Norwich and uh and if those you know and telecom has been deemed an essential thing right. so now those same people are traveling they're coming back to their families and I don't know how uh you know how anybody's dealing with it you know cell site works a little different but when you're doing like I don't know, man. Even that. Don't know who's been there. Just got to have a lot of cleaning stuff. Yeah. I hey, mean, listen, here's a, I got a dark question for you. All right. I love dark questions. This is super dark. Okay. Hit me. How many people died in 9 11? I think it was around, yeah, two to 3,000 altogether, including like yeah, DC. 2,255. I don't know the exact number. It's about 3,000 is the number. Well, and then if you yeah. went to the war. You go to the uh, Iraq War, and uh, I don't really know exactly what the numbers. I know it was hundreds of thousands of Iraqis, um, and I think, like, American soldiers. That was a pretty uh, hefty number, too. The number they you know, give for 9-11 is 2,996. There you go, 3,000. So what was it for uh, troops? What about troops? Um, oh, in um, the war? What about the war? Uh, four, Iraq. Four or something, right? Um I, I think I know what you're getting at, Ryan, and that's that uh, this is this is worse than 9/11. Uh, and who is plus. you know who's gonna put who's gonna make that fucking post? You know what I mean? It's like you, more people well, died. You know, people. It's gonna be 9/11 every day. 
You know what I mean? Well, Every day. And, and we're going to have done it to ourselves. Well, that's that's kind of my thing is it's the same people that have been screaming to support the troops. The same people that have been screaming, I'll never forget, <laughs> 9-11, you know, all these things that I agree with. Um, but here we are, a situation where it's the same thing. But because it goes, you know, because of the... Uh, because of the distrust in media as well as the distrust in our president and the fact that he his ratings on everybody's mind for the last four years has been every day, can't escape it no matter what you do. Uh, people that don't want to be involved in politics, then all of a sudden along came coronavirus and you like need an opinion. You need to stand somewhere. You need to say, hey, are we going to stay home, honey, or are we going out? And, you know. You huh. can't. You yep. can't escape it. There are all kinds of effort. man. You can't. Es- this corona doesn't matter who the fuck you are. You rich or whatever. It, yeah, it's a, getting it, everybody. Got that dude to sing that song. Uh, uh, Stacy's mom. Yeah, he died. Well, not he. Uh, what? co-writer, co-writer in the um the guitar player in that band died at fifty two years old of the yeah. coronavirus. Uh, Branford not, Marcellus's father. Um, um he he died eighty two. Down there in Louisiana, I believe. Chris Cuomo's got it. He's, yes. uh, he seemed all right, but he looked yeah. like he kind of had the sniffles. Oh, like, he, he was talking about the fever, oh, his you fevers know and shit. That no, he there got was some where good he was information there. Almost tripping and shit. Um, uh, one of the uh, if you do have it, a good thing to uh, maintain if you are um, reaching those levels where you do need to seek hospital attention as soon as possible. You can regulate your uh, oxygen in yeah. your in your body and there's like a it's an inexpensive uh little meter thing little you meter that in. you put your finger in and it registers the oxygen and um that'll tell you if you're doing good you're supposed to you know it's supposed to be above like 90 percent or some shit like that he's very know. intelligent you know that that chris como guy he's a smart guy yeah. yeah he is i i used to i didn't know how much i didn't like andrew cuomo until oh. like you know, the past couple of few years or whatever you know what i mean like not even maybe the past year, I'd say. All right, this is Andrew's brother is Chris. Right. So I didn't right. know the difference. Same thing happened with Bush. I was looking at Bush Jr., you know, and I was like, wow. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, that's George Bush, but it looks younger. Like, it was confusing. And I was seeing, right. you know, and I don't have the news or anything like that. I don't have any TV or anything like that. I just have Netflix, and there's no news. Got the internet. Um, and I, because I don't unfollow people on Facebook, I don't go on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like, enough. To where when I did start seeing this guy, I was like, holy shit. I was like, Cuomo had some fucking plastic surgery, dude. I'm like, he looks good. You right. know? And it was his fucking brother. But yeah. uh, Governor Cuomo. Don't is, like him, huh? Well, I didn't, you know, gun laws and stuff like that. And just basically the people that I trust don't like him. Yeah. So I, in my sheep ways, huh. I just figured I wouldn't like him because, oh, you know, yeah. my friends don't like him. And if you're a real friend, you don't like who your friends don't like. You know, your enemy is the f- enemy of your oh. friend's enemy. <laughs> well, I was, uh, anyway, some people just don't like Italians. Yeah, I like He's, what I've seen from him so far. I like his attitude. I like his uh, doing what he can know. with what he's got. Well, I think he's a good politician in the fact that he's yes. doing it right. You know what I mean? He's like, you know, I got so used to Trump not giving a fuck what people thought. And, and, and you're saying whatever he wanted, but, you know, Cuomo's doing the dance a little bit. You know, he's being smart about what he says, and he's still being, like, not aggressive, but stern or, you know, like. Oh, yeah. It, it, I feel more comfortable watching him in well, Fauci. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, like, the first breath of fresh air I've gotten since the fucking, you know, since the, the, the Trump show. Everybody likes Fauci. Well, not everybody, because they're threatening his life and shit. You better fucking weld that door shut, Josh. Yeah. They've been threatening them, man. Check that. Yeah, that window wasn't sealed either, man. You know, yeah. there's cra- all the way around it. There's openings. You gotta watch. You gotta watch it. Right. They're after him. They don't like old Fauci for some reason. Going, oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. They don't. Fuck, he had man. some threats and shit. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, they don't like what he's got to say, evidently. Evidently. So you're listening to the Mega Need Show live, Sonic Garden Radio. Sonic Gardens Radio. You guys should just run this all day. <laughs> I know, like you know uh, what I mean. Just, just leave it. Just well, leave like, it. Pretty running. much, if we could honestly get um, 
people to call in and continue the the momentum and the conversation without it hitting a dead spot. We uh, we do right. like we run these things until we uh till we till, sp- till we sputter out and we say, well, I'm out of shit to talk about today, which uh, some days are quicker than others. But yeah, we're hitting it our uh, about two hours right now. Fucking a man, we don't fuck and uh, we get Warner on the phone. I mean, hey, anybody wants us to keep going, give us a comment. Say keep it going. Say I'm sitting right. here listening. I'm stuck on my essential job, and uh, I'm trying to make it all happen. And you guys are getting me through, or uh, you know, I'm just does... chilling in my quarantine home and sick of watching TV. And uh, now, you can know, they sell the essential oils? You know, do the dishes door while you to listen door. to Mangan Needs. You know, you can do your dishes while you listen to Mangan Needs. You, you can do can, a lot. Of everyone things. needs to do their dishes. You know, yeah. you got to keep them countertops wiped down. You know, sweep the floors. You know, vacuum might be a little bit of a problem, but um, right. You know, Why? but if you just because you know you don't want to turn it up and you lose track but even that you vacuum you miss a couple minutes hey right then you can always watch it again another time trying to reach 1,000 subscribers so tell your cousin tell your cousin (laughs) tell Tell your friends tell Charlie Brown and uh I have a like I said anybody watching (laughs) wants to his name is Charlie Brown send us a uh shit you know and a what's up Charlie Brown Tennessee. All right, well, I'm going to go. Uh, All right. We we do nature walks in the afternoon. Yeah, so you're one of them people, huh? Mother well, fucker. yeah, man. Don't, they, let, don't let fucking Ted cut, catch you down there by the cemetery. He's ready to put yeah, a bullet no. in somebody. Who? What? It's Ted. Ted who? <laughs> Ted, I, well, we can't drop his name. He lives right, oh, up, he lives right up there by you, though. Right oh, gotcha. In the corner. <laughs> Keep an He's eye out right. for him in case he gets um, wild. Yeah, I but we him. figured, man, you know, Bowman Lake empty, you know, and there's all the nature trails around there. And, you know, that's the one thing. I mean, don't get granted, lost, Warner. Yeah, I was going to say we're taking uh, the only chance we're taking is that, you know, something happens and we get into an accident or, yep. and then you're you know, submitting your poor. Well, son. you know, that was that was one of the things somebody said uh like in in my post, you know, because somebody was trying to write it off as nothing, and I, you know, and I kind of went on a rant about treating it like a war, fucking, age. and how we're just getting slaughtered, you know, and uh, like pick, got to do the right thing, you got to stay away from, you know, end all essential tra all, all these things, and somebody put back there like, yeah, most of what you said's true, but except for the, um, you know, how you can't go anywhere, they're like parks and different places are fine to go to, and I agree. Except for if everybody does it, then right. all of a sudden, nah. They so, shut them down the, in California. But here's the thing. Where we live, it's all limited anyway. So there's already uh, nobody's at those places typically when you're walking around and when you're especially in off-season type things. So yeah. now in this situation where people are mostly staying home, that's going to limit that number even less. So. Based yeah, on uh, numbers, well, I, I would say anybody. it's legit, you know, so I wouldn't say, yeah. you know, my, but my, I do, uh, I, I still acknowledge the chance you're taking. If you're, if you're driving anywhere, like we have to drive, cause we don't actually go into Bowman Lake. We go, um, to like Copac pond. So it's oh. like a finger lakes trail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, it's literally, you're not seeing anybody. Oh, yeah. No. Um, but yeah. like, I still acknowledge the fact and I want other people to acknowledge the fact that just leaving your fucking house, man, you're rolling the dice. Right. Yeah. If there's a hundred percent chance that you're not going to get into a fucking a car accident if you don't, you know, drive and your so, fucking car. And so, honestly, it's like there's two ways of looking at it. It's like I, I'm kind of looking at it like a marathon, and I'm I'm seriously like, just just like kind of breathing, and you know, like just one day at a time, as far as like trying to ease it in and get used to it. You know, like the yep. idea of uh, limited, um, yeah. I mean, hey, man. Non-essential travel. Like I said, we, we're coming out of winter anyway. Just take so your kid out by the river down there, is it? Well, here's the other factor. So, um, like, my, my brother-in-law called in the other day and wanted us to uh, just to, uh, remember that one, Josh, where he asked oh, us. Oh, yeah. It was if, your brother-in-law? Uh, yeah. And he, and he want about <laughs> golfing, right? Yeah. And he wanted to go golfing, and he was kind of, you know, my sister was giving him a, a hard time that golfing wasn't legit, even though he called in and he said he laid it out this way. He said, look, I'm going, I ordered online. There's no cart. 
There's no, I don't touch anything. We're not allowed to touch the, uh, the Pole. poles, even the poles. And I'm going yeah, out have, golfing with my brother. They have raised holes, yeah. And so he's all you like, have to do is click it. Yeah, so he's like, so does that, um, he's like, so what do you guys think? You know, and so we gave him, you know, our blessing. But at the same time, again, that all determines on how everybody plays the deal once you get there. So it's like, right. like my next question was, well, are you going to go by yourself? And he's like, well, I'm probably going to go with my brother. So it's like, okay, well, there you go. You know, now you both how, got hurt. Now what do you, <laughs> so how, how, uh, you know, now you handle it the next way. So now you meet two other guys and now everybody's standing around and, uh, you know, laughing. And like I said, if there is aerosol, aerosol, then you're, your spit, that stuff is is hanging in the air for an extra bit of time. Then and you you're fucked. And uh, there you go. See, but I would, I don't know, man. It, it's different. To, me, to to me, in my opinion, I'd play it. I'd play it more safe and say only golf with the people that you're quarantined with. Right. Or yourself. You right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, or I, or go by yourself and you know. But um, I don't know, man. I think that you can if you if everyone took it serious. I think golfing's fine, man. The only exception is the fucking trip, is the drive you take to get to the golf course. Right. And, and even if you're though doing it's a low fucking chance, right. Ninety percent get... accidents occur within thirty miles of your fucking house. True. But then and the accident thing is just gonna be more uh excess of um you know, potential uh hospital. Right. Like not as much like the guy that's gonna fix your flat tire, maybe, but that Yeah, like, when that's any of us obviously... wreck, we really crash them. Yeah. <laughs> So especially you two. So I, it's more <laughs> like, yeah, then all of a sudden, yeah, you're getting a ride. And then that guy's, you know, your only your only hope. Yeah, right, you you're out in the middle. Of now nowhere, is not the time to get fucked up and go to the hospital. That's for sure. There was that. Uh, did you guys ever get the uh, shit, man? Remember that one uh, dream catcher? Anybody ever read that novel? Oh, Stephen King novel? Nope. Definitely nope. not. It's like a. Uh, Kind of like a pandemic type thing. Not really thing, big. Uh, it was Stephen pretty cool. I mean, he's probably great and everything. I just haven't caught a bunch. Uh, the Pet movie. Cemetery? Was he Pet Cemetery? Yeah, man. Fucking beautiful flick. The old one. I haven't seen the new one. The new one was pretty good, too. But it was just like the old one? Uh, they they had to change it like slightly. Oh, a couple little. Stupid. They had the little, little things they had to do oh. to make it not the exact same movie. Because sometimes that's not. But for the most part, it was, you know, pretty exact. All right. Well, Warner's got to go, I guess. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Uh, All right. I just we, got. Uh, and we're past two hours, so we can definitely right. put we're this gonna one. We're going to hang her up. Your son's out here starving. Yeah, Looks like I'll he's withering away food. to nothing. He's so All right, guys. Of it. He's Mang- gonna, I got some Mang- batteries show. Thanks a lot. Yeah, man. Thanks for letting me hang out for like an hour. We'll call yeah, you tomorrow, man. too. What happened? I called you yesterday. I got I got a message at fucking whenever I got a message. Finally yeah, found my phone. I lost my phone until uh, I found it at like 2 a.m. Right. I, I didn't have it all day. Huh. It was inside of uh, the glider. Oh, boy. Yeah. We don't sit in the glider much. Huh. All right, bros. All right, man. Have a Stay good safe. one. Yeah, you too. Well, Later, enjoy guys. your nature walk. All right. And he's out. Okay, Manganito. All right, we're going to close this down Closing with a down. beautiful song. We got a hit right from here. Our- from our favorite. All right. The inspiration for it all. Yeah. Pep and Jeff. Ooh. If they're watching, hi. All right. What, what particular number? Like does. Nobody does me like she does me. Megan yeah, Show. It's on a garden live. Yeah, she does. And if somebody loved me. Like she does Oh, she does Yeah, she does
darn me good. 